Hello everyone. How are you doing? You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. If you are new on this channel, my name is Henrietta. And on this channel, we pray to God. We seek solutions. We come to God and tell God what we want. All we do here is to pray. To open our problems and give it to God. And God has always answered us so if you have a problem if anything is bothering you you are at the right place if you want quick answer if you want financial growth this is the right channel so please subscribe there is a subscribe button below your screen tap it and tap the bell beside it so that you will always get updates you come and watch and receive your blessings so today I'm going to share with you powerful Bible passages that you can read and pray with to get speedy answer, to get shocking miracle. The first is Mark 11 verse 24. Mark 11 verse 24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. The reason why your prayers are not being answered is because you don't believe. You come to this channel, you pray. You live here, you go to another one, you are trying another again. You don't believe. You are not praying to the owners of the channel. You are praying to God. Whenever you pray, believe that you have gotten it. It is not just to say, I believe. No. It is to act it. Faith is action. Nobody will say, I'm faithless. It is hard to see people who will tell you, I don't have faith in God. They don't say it, but their action does. After praying, you are crying. After praying, you are worrying. You worry. You bother. You complain. You run heter scatter when you have prayed. If you believe that you have gotten that, will you be worried? No. It shows God that you don't believe. If you know who God is, if you know how powerful God is, whenever you pray to God, sincerely with your heart with your heart you should be happy and relieved that you have given a problem solver see in my life in my short life in this world there is nothing i have ever asked god that he does not do he does it even when the devil tries to make the problem more difficult because the devil has a trick whenever you pray they will make the problem more difficult so that you will feel that your prayer has not worked so that you will complain and begin to blame god and begin to worry and immediately you do that everything is spoiled. god will just remove his hand from your issue when you complain bitterly when you worry when you bother you are only telling God you cannot do it. And if you tell God that he cannot do it, he will leave you. May God not leave you. That is the quickest way to push God away from you when you disbelieve. It's just like, I tell you, I will give you this. You tell me, I beg you cannot. Don't feel that I will try to prove myself to you. I will not. There are people who will try to prove themselves. Maybe they are fake. They are trying to convince you for a personal interest or for another motive. For a real person that wants to help you. Once you doubt them, once you challenge them by telling them you don't believe they can do it, they will leave you alone, just like me. When you tell me you can't do it, I will just stop. So with God. So whenever you worry after praying, 
Whenever you bother, what does it show? Just like I'm your mother, you come to me, mommy, I need this. I need school fees. I will tell you, my child, I will give you tomorrow. And you still go outside, you are still crying. <laughs> it only shows that you don't believe that your mother can do it. Maybe your mother has been promising and she does not fulfill her promises. There are some parents, they will tell you, don't worry, tomorrow. Tomorrow again, don't worry, next tomorrow. For a parent like that, that child has the right. And that is the condition that the child would grieve. But for a mother or a father that does exactly the way he has planned, I know that you are not God, but that should not be an excuse. I will give you is I will give you. They will be happy and be dancing. That is what God wants you to do. Whenever you pray to him, believe that you have received it. Believe that you have gotten it so that you can get it. So if you have been praying and you have not gotten that your dream job, you have not gotten that customer and client that will change your story, you have not grown financially, things are still difficult, you are going to do this. Believe that it is done and it will be done. Okay? Philippians 4 verse 6. Philippians 4 verse 6, okay? Do not be anxious about anything, but put every situation in prayers and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not be anxious, do not be worried about anything, but put every situation in prayers and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not be worried. Do not bother. Do not cry again. Do not be afraid of your problem. Do not complain again. Do not be anxious. Just put every situation, everything you want, into the hands of the Lord by praying and petition and thanksgiving. And you will get your answer. You pray. Remember, prayer is different from petition. Petition is when you write down your request. Your written request is petition. So you see that when you are praying over a problem, make sure you write all of these things down. Anything you want, write them down. There is power when you pray. You say it with your mouth. You write it down. You leave it in a good scripture like Matthew 7 verse 7 or Psalm 23. Leave your request there because in this particular Bible passages, the Lord has said that he will answer you and give you all you need. So put what you need there. All I need is always in the Bible. In my Bible, you must always get a sheet of paper carrying my request and it has always worked so all you need to do is to write down that thing that you need so much you pray on them you thank god on them you hold that request in your hand on your palm begin to sing praises on them let god know that you know that he can do it when you are done praying on them, singing on them, telling God with your mouth again, take it and leave it in either Psalm 23 or Matthew 7, verse 7. These are powerful Bible passages that will give you miracle. From now on, always write down what you want. It is more effective when you are praying, you are saying it and you are holding your request. You are holding your request and beside that beside that when you always leave your request in your bible you will get speedy answer you can also take your request to an altar in the church and add any seed you have any amount of money you have to sow a seed 
with the request no matter how small drop it there pray on it every night tell god what you want for at least three days and drop that seed that is another way to write a petition if you don't have money no problem you can drop it like that but make sure you don't have because normally when you are dropping requests on the altar you are supposed to drop money to lay an altar so that as that money touches the altar, it will attract lots of money to you. So all of these are ways to present your prayers to God through petition. Okay? So now say these prayers. Lord God, give me the strength to believe. Lord God, help me. Lord God, come to my aid. Lord God, I give you my petition, my prayer request. I leave them in your hand. And I thank you because I know that I have gotten all what I need. I know that you have answered me. When you are done, begin to thank God. You will get shocking miracle. This never fails. It always works. To so make sure you read the scripture Mark 11 verse 24 and Philippians 4 verse 6. You read them and say the prayer and write all what you want. Keep it in a Bible passage that I have told you. And also in the altar if you can. These are ways to get speedy answer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And turn on the bell for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up. I will see you again.